Welcome back to Let's Play Vandal Hearts for the Sega Saturn. So before we go anywhere, there's something we need to do. So this is the part of the game that nothing tells you to do this. Nothing at all. You have to be intensely curious. <coughs> which you should be. So you will notice that there's a new person here in the tavern that we need to talk to. Well, that we haven't talked to before, but we need to talk to them. Oh, now I can go back to the training on the dunes thanks to you! Please, accept this family heirloom as a token of my gratitude. You've got the Nova Key. So I'm going to briefly show you, but I'm going to end up reloading because that's not the battle that we're doing today, um, what this is. So... I'm just going to briefly make a real save. So let's take a look at this key, shall we? Uh, I believe it's actually in the wagon. Yeah. One of the holy keys only for Ash. So, remember a while back that I had mentioned Um, where was it? Not hints. Aurora underwent severe trials to master the seven great elements. You seek true power, you must undergo the six trials just as he did. Remember that when all other ways are lost, a door to the sacred knowledge is opened with a holy key. This is the secret part of Vandal Hearts, because the moment I leave, nothing happens. But remember, it's only for Ash, which means... What happens if we put that key in Ash's inventory and then go back to the Tojo? Welcome to my Tojo. What do you seek here today? Hold for a moment. Is that one of the holy keys that you have? Those are only to be held. Uh, those are to be held only by the chosen one. Do you wish to undergo the trials of Terora? Nothing in the game other than reading the dialogue or inside of the hints in the dojo tells you about them. Remember before when I said that you can't go back, really? We are at the end of this chapter, for reference. The next battle is the last battle of the chapter, which means that if we finish this chapter, this key is gone forever. You need to undergo the six trials, which means you need the six keys. There are only six keys. All of them are missable permanently. I'm going to quickly show you, but I'm not going to do this battle right now. We're going to do it later. Fare thee well! That is a character we haven't reached yet. So. All of these trials hold the same type of thing that's going on. And for reference, we're capable of doing this trial right now. I don't want to. I'm going to do a special set of episodes on the trials. Our objective, right, so we need to kill everything. You'll notice there's a bunch of monsters here that we've never seen before, for the most part. Um, some of them we've seen before, like we've seen goblins, we've seen war ghosts, we haven't seen the sparkies, and we're about to see the pirates. Hint, hint. Um, okay. And there's one treasure chest on the battlefield. Right here. Every one of the trials has the same thing. The objective, according to this, is the destruction of enemies and the defeat is death of Ash. That is not true. The objective is opening this treasure chest. Nothing else matters. Because if you defeat all the enemies without opening the treasure chest, you have failed the trial. Congratulations, you permanently cannot get the secret stuff. It's clever. I definitely didn't know- I ended up, the first time playing through the game, I got one key total. Right 
there it is. We're just going to load back. So we have the key. We can start that trial at any time in the game. You'll also notice that all of the enemies are level 9. They are all the same level as Ash, no matter what. This is the reason why power leveling Ash is not necessarily a good idea. If Ash is level 40, so is every single enemy on that battlefield. You can quickly see why that might not be the greatest of ideas. But we're not doing that. We have the key. That's all that matters. We're actually leaving town. Oh, um, by the way, this is supposed to be not Ports Harbor, but uh, the port city of Minato, apparently. So, let's head out to the Gadar Sea. That is Grog's portrait, I believe. He looks much better in his portrait than he does in Sprite. He almost arrived. Yeah, I told you we'd be introduced with the pirates soon enough. Gangplanks. Ha! I knew he'd show up. That's Hassan the pirate? Been too long since we've seen some action. You're too famous. No ships bother trying to come through here. Look, that's no ordinary trader. There's two women aboard. What? to avenge my friends. You really want to fight me? Master, what's the problem? Oh, oh, no problem. Let's fight them. He ran away while your friends died one by one. No drunken good-for-nothing has been able to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. No drunken good-for-nothing has been... Has been, can fight me, and live be a hyphen there. Another boss battle. There's a lot of them in this game, by the way. No. The objective is to defeat Hassan. We don't have to defeat all of the... Um... What you call it? The pirates and corsairs? No, just pirate archer. And pirate soldier. Corsair must be higher level stuff. Um, you'll notice that they're all level 6, other than Hassan, I think. Yeah, Hassan's level 8. And he has a healing spell. That's right, Hassan can heal himself. I don't remember if I've ever seen him use it, mind you, but he can heal himself. Or actually, since it's just healing and not self-healing, I think he can heal anyone. That, but... Um, he has 9 MP, so it's not a whole bunch. Anyway, um... Uh, so, there's a couple of schools of thought to this battle. One is to go after Hassan directly and don't care about anything else that happens. There's some wisdom to that approach, because you don't necessarily want to level up in this battle. I can't explain why until we get into the next video, but leveling up's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, especially for two specific characters, but I don't like playing that way. I prefer going after everybody, and I prefer wiping everybody out because it's actually a reasonable source of XP, it's just that you may not want to. Um, glancing at the guide really fast, there are no hidden objects on this battlefield. By the way, for reference, the guide that I'm looking at literally just says what the enemies are, how much gold they give, and what where the hidden objects are. There's nothing else to it. So, what we want to do is get ourselves where we're not having to fight on multiple sides. Now, you will notice that they can move up to here. They cannot move any further. You will notice that they can move up to here and not any further. So what we want to do is basically block them off and let our archers pick them. Archers and mage pick them off. 
Alternately, we have our mage paralyze one side and handle that side basically all on her own. Which is what we're going to do. So, since they can stop there, I'm actually going to move over to here. Nope, we can't hit the other side. Um, I did not promote before this battle because I'm intentionally wanting to promote everybody at once. Hi. So, on this side, we're going to have Grog. Ash. Kira and Hux. The other side is going to be Clint, Diego, and Eel and I. That's all I need. Trust me. Well, unless if I get unlucky. That is totally a thing. We'll find out. How are you doing, by the way? I know I don't have Kitty Cam up right now. It's in sleep. He must have had a really busy day with, you know, sleeping all day. Um... Now, yesterday was his birthday, so you'll notice that almost everybody seems to be coming on to the gangplanks. There was a way for me to withdraw the gangplanks. All of them would drop into the sea and die, and I would get zero XP for any of them. So, the one downside with staying over here is that I'm going to be attacked by two creatures every turn. I'm going to be attacked by the soldier up front and also the archer in the back. Same thing happens on the other side. Except... Oh, and by the way, this is the particular time that a fire gem would actually be really helpful. Oh, I missed. That's gonna stink. It's also not very easy to actually, um... Uh, sneak around and attack. Yeah, I actually would have been better not spellbinding. I didn't think about that. That was cool. But we get to see Grog attack. Yeah. I don't quite understand this animation either. Unfortunately, his magic attack is only one square around him, so Ash is not going to be doing anything for a bit. So Grog's at 52, Clint is at 45. It's probably better for me to heal Clint, actually. Unfortunately, Mystic Shield only lasts for one round, by the way, which is the reason why I didn't bother casting it in advance. Not gonna do anything. Yep, this is the part that's gonna suck. Because Grog's going to get hit the same way I'm hitting them. The main difference is, is that they don't really have healing, and I do. And I don't have much healing. Grog's going to get attacked twice. Oh, good. I needed him to block one of them. Because that character's going to... Uh, that enemy is going to die, and then the next one will walk up. That's the problem. The Grug's gonna need healing bad. Ah, hoping the counterattack would hit. Okay. This is also what I meant by luck, by the way, because it depends on what order the enemy does things in. 
one's leveled up, that's good. Yeah, you'll notice both of them are kind of in a critical range at the moment. So what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to move Grog back, put Ash up in front. And Hassan's not doing anything yet. That's fine. So, Grog. Well, first, Kira attack. Then Grog will move away and heal himself. does Ice Storm actually do in damage? Let's science this. So, if Ash attacks, Ash will deal 28. And take 17 back. At least saving and loading on the Saturn version is super quick. Who's that? Oh, I know who that is. Interesting portrait. If instead I use Ice Storm, I'm not gonna get a car I'm not gonna get attacks back. Ice Storm just looks so weird. It looks like a water spell, and I do just as much damage. Yep, I'm doing that instead. All right. Meanwhile, on this side. Star. Slow down. You're dead. So what I'm worried about is this one coming after me. Because I would be in range, maybe? I'm not actually sure. I've done a save recently, it's fine. There we go. 26, I should be hit for 18 back. Or nothing. Nothing works, I'm okay with nothing. Attack with Diego. Ah, one hit point! Dang it! And then move up with Hux to heal again. Bringing Clint back to full. Clint is going to take three attacks this round, potentially, and not two. Ooh, not quite full. Interesting. Do I have anybody left? No. Let's go with the distant zoom. I tend to use distant zoom quite a bit, so. Yep, you're going to attack Ash. Ash can take some hits, it's fine. Okay, good. I'm only gonna get attacked one. Or twice. Uh, no, actually, depending on the order, I'm gonna be attacked three times. On that side. This side, I'm gonna be attacked three times. But Ash has hit points, and can heal himself, and blocks! All good things. <coughs> Bonk. Yep, you have a death wish. Got it. But I'll survive. That's fine. And then that one will move up. Back in Clint. Clint will counterattack. And we're fine. Okay. I think I know how to do this turn. So I'm actually going to have Ash attack, because Ash should be able to kill that archer, assuming the, or the soldier. Yep, the no counter attack. Ash will level up to level 10.
Frog will move forward, attack this soldier. Kira. Follow up. Ah, one hit point again. Damn it. At least Kira leveled up level 9 finally. I keep slouching. I can tell because my chin is below the... Uh, below the bottom of the screen. Okay. I have plenty of magic, I can Dark Star again. I'm gonna Dark Star that one to death. Slow down. Heal and I levels up to, is that nine? I think that's 10, isn't it? Or is that nine? I think that's nine now that I'm saying that. Yep, Heal is nine. Go after that archer, I think. Could mostly, if not completely, kill it. Yep. So we're done with the enemies on this side until these archers decide to come by and say hi. Um, fuck. You can heal Flint for all but one again, or is it all but two this time? All but two this time. That makes sense. He's taking the same amount of damage every time. So, here's the thing. If I was promoted, I'd be able to reach the other side. This is the downside with trying to keep everybody roughly equal level without overleveling, is that I don't gain the ability to take advantage of those things. Um, so in that case... I actually do want Diego up in front, by the way. Because the archers can go over here to attack, but Diego can at least counterattack. Clint can't. Also, Diego's level. He could take two archer hits. That's not that big of a deal. Yep, Ash is getting bowed. And missed. That's nice. I love the sound effects. Ooh, you're going that side. Interesting. You're gonna try to take out Grog? You can't take out Grog. And you're still going to go after Clint. That's fine. Wasn't sure if they could reach or not. You can't see enemy attack range except during the their turn. You're dead. I only have squishy archers on this side now, which is good. But I also have Hassan to deal with. That's a problem. You may or may not be dead because height advantage. Yeah, I didn't think you would be. But you can jump up and down and reach level 10. Nice. Second character at level 10. You're very dead at this point. Point. Ah, really? Really, game? Okay, gonna have to waste another use of Dark Star on Neil and I. Can't leave that archer alive. Nope, not happening. And I don't mind having Neil and I having more XP. That's perfectly fine to me. Running a little low on MP, it's a little concerning. Uh, I'm actually going to heal Diego. You know, get more XP from healing Clint, but. Alright, what to do with this side? Yeah. 
You're dead. Frog hits 10. So all of my melee characters have hit 10. That's good. Grog is still squishy, but Grog can't be attacked anymore if I can't take out that archer. And I'm going to take out the archer. But... Be a little sneakier about it. Yes, I'm aware that Kira's going to get a counterattack. This is probably not needed anyway, but... I want to make sure... One. And two, Kira gets XP this way. I really don't want Ash to get counterattacked. See, we're already at the end of the previous episode, and we still have the boss remaining. Which is going to get angry at Ash at this point. But can't reach! Didn't think you could. So, a boss is going to wake up at this point. Yep. This is where the problem comes in, because my healer's over here, boss is over here. Not a great combination. Also, what? The boss is facing that way. Interesting. Okay. So there's two approaches. Either one, I can go aggressive, or two, I can drop an herb on Grog so I can take more melee hits. I think that's actually a better option in this case. Also gives me more XP because Grog's higher level. Spit on the ground. Swipe with a giant axe. Ah, dang it. He actually is blocking. I didn't think about that. Nice storm. He splashed with water. 32 damage. Hmm. Really? This might be the last round of combat. So I'm going to quickly heal Clint. <clears throat> because why not? It's possible this is not the last round of combat, and instead he'll survive, but I don't think he will, actually. Double support? Yep, nope. Ah, brother! We got 40 XP. And we win. With half the party level 10, half the party level 9. Oh, oh boy, are we getting a lot of money for this. 2,380 gold. That's more than two. Yes, Duolingo, I know it's time for a lesson. Ugh. He's drunk. Fool. You goddamn fool! Uh, what's going on here? He said his brother was killed by pirates, but in reality, Hassan was his brother? That's right. Grog's brother is the pirate Hassan. It's Hassan Drinkwater. But I don't actually think Grog's family name is Drinkwater, but whatever. Since we were kids, I was trying to catch up to you. Always trying to be stronger. Tougher than you. For a while, I thought I passed you, but I was just a th Sorry what I did to your friends. Ugh. So, 
It's okay now, try to relax. Wish I could go back to those times. Oh, see it again. We grew up in foreign ships. All right, Grog. Got you involved with no idea what I was doing. A good commander will admit when they're wrong and try to make amends to apologize. And that's what Ash is doing here. No, it was a good thing. Didn't you see how peaceful his face looked in death? He wanted to die by my hand. He was consumed by guilt. I knew he, how he felt, but I ran away from it. I'm glad he's finally free. Uh, don't worry about it. You got your own problems. Anyway, I want to come with you. I have no life back there, and I can see you're definitely going to need my help. Holy crap, did you see what Clint is like? See ya. Thus ends chapter one, a Premonition of War. And I get to be quiet for a while because we have the narrator speaking.